When entering the backcountry, make sure you are prepared for any event. Before heading out, review your itinerary. Daily distances and elevation changes should be planned with each group member's ability in mind. While at the backcountry permit office, review topographic maps, current snow and water hazards, and trail status reports in order to aid you in planning your trip. There are some items we suggest you have to make your backcountry experience safer and more enjoyable. These trip essentials are listed in Glacier's Backcountry Camping Guide. Of these items, it is necessary to have extra food and clothing, a means to purify water, a first aid kit, rain gear, matches, 25 feet of rope, weatherproof food, garbage hanging bag, water containers, and a flashlight or headlamp. Having these objects will make your trip a safer experience. Glacier's rugged terrain and Rocky Mountain climate can create diverse weather and weather-related events. Due to Glacier's location, snow may fall at any time of the year. In many years, snow fields linger well into July, requiring steep hazardous crossings and some route finding. We advise bringing an ice axe and crampons to safely cross these snow fields. During heavy periods of rain and high spring runoff, high volumes of water can create dangerous river and stream crossings. When crossing water, scout for the easiest route. Unbuckle your backpack's waist strap, wear shoes for stability, and link arms. Rain, wind, cooler temperatures, or crossing streams are factors that can reduce your body's core temperature. If your core temperature drops too low, a life-threatening condition known as hypothermia may result. Symptoms of hypothermia include impaired judgment, shivering, reluctance to move, and collapsing. To prevent its occurrence, dress in breathable layers, have sufficient rain and wind gear, carry extra dry clothes, and drink plenty of liquids. Heat exhaustion and dehydration are also serious problems. To prevent them, all members in your party should stay well hydrated and not exert themselves beyond their limit. Drinking untreated water can also cause complications. Even water in cold, high mountain streams may contain giardia, other bacteria, or viruses that cause severe intestinal problems. Before drinking water from any source, it should be filtered by using a water purifier that filters down to one micron, treated with iodine tablets, or boiled to kill any harmful organisms. These organisms get into the watershed because human waste has not been disposed of properly. When in the backcountry, use pit toilets in the campgrounds to avoid resource damage and to concentrate waste. Toilet paper is not provided in any of the pit toilets. If a pit toilet is not available, dig a cat hole six to eight inches deep, away from the trail and 200 feet from any water source. Always urinate on hard surfaces to prevent animals from digging for salts and minerals found in urine. If you use toilet paper on the trail, pack it out. To prevent major impacts on vegetation, stay on the trail, hike single file, and do not cut switchbacks. Resting on resilient surfaces such as rock, snow, gravel, or dry grasses will also lessen impacts on vegetation. If your route takes you off trail, spread out. Repeated trampling of plants and flowers will kill them and cause erosion of steep slopes and areas surrounding the trail. Upon arrival at your campground, use the area map to locate a designated campsite, the food preparation area, a site to hang food, and the pit toilet. Make sure you're at the correct campground. Your backcountry permit is valid only for specified dates and campgrounds. To reduce resource damage, set up your tent in the designated campsite. A maximum of four people is allowed per site. Remember to hang your food, garbage, cookware, and any other odorous substances in the food storage area when not in use. Not all of Glacier's campgrounds allow fires. Check your backcountry camping guide for the fire policy at your designated campground. If fires are allowed, make sure they are small, properly contained, and made in the provided fire ring. Use wrist size or smaller dead and downed wood. Burning garbage or food scraps is not allowed. When leaving the fire area, make sure the fire is completely extinguished. Wastewater should always be strained and broadcast well away from sleeping areas. Put strained materials with the rest of your garbage to hang. 
never throw food scraps or garbage into pit toilets. It may cause bears to destroy toilet structures or dig into pit. Washing dishes and bathing should be done on land, not in lakes or streams. Before leaving your campground or any area, make sure all litter and garbage has been picked up. Pack it out. There are many people who explore glaciers backcountry and countless animals and plants that live here. To ensure a great experience for everyone, we ask that you have consideration for all life in the park. At your campsite, keep noise to a minimum and respect other campers' boundaries. If hiking and you encounter backcountry users with stock, step quietly off the trail on the downhill side. If using stock, stay on trails designated for such use and read the private stock use handout to learn rules and regulations. Pets, firearms, and wheeled vehicles are not allowed in Glacier's backcountry. However, disabled visitors are permitted to bring wheelchairs and trained aid dogs into the backcountry, although aid dogs are not recommended due to possible negative interactions with bears. Help keep Glacier a magical experience for those who follow by treading lightly on the land and leaving natural and cultural resources for others to enjoy. Respecting all creatures and visitors of the park will keep Glacier the extraordinary adventure that it is. As long as I live, I'll hear waterfalls and birds and wind sing. I'll interpret the rocks, learn the language of floods, storms, and avalanche. I'll acquaint myself with the glaciers and the wild gardens and get as near the heart of the world as I can. John Muir